What? <laughs> so Jetfire in jet mode, you can see so not only does he have working which is pretty amazing, he's also got um, a cockpit that you can remove this this thing. I'm not going to try to do it because it might be stuck in. You can actually put a Titan Master in there. It's kind of an Easter egg. Oh, nice. And you close that up. But then underneath, there's grab handles. That, so you can actually, they're, three, they're the five millimeter uh, post. So you can actually have a bunch of guys G.I. Joe and in. <laughs> which is kind of That's so cool. cool. Uh, there's a couple located. There's, there's here, and then these fold out as well. I'm not going to do it, but those. Those are also grab handles. Um, the other thing I'd like to demonstrate with this guy that you really can't see online is there's a couple of just bananas, like little details with this guy. So you you physically see how heavy and big this guy is. He has no voids on the insides of his legs. But then this logo thing, it's pretty cool. So that, that actually, true to the G1 uh, episode, he's able to convert from one side to the other. He's also got a few cool things. I don't know if this is gonna let me do it or not, but when you convert it, I'm gonna see if I can get it to. Okay, so when you when you pull this guy back, let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, watch where his head goes. It pushes back into this like little spring-loaded trap door. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and it goes into his back. It's crazy. So uh, the legendary Hisui-san actually worked on this thing. So why wasn't that wow. see now by now? I <laughs> that's a would have bought cases of that. Um, Maybe we should have waited until July. So we the other thing that's July. really cool with this guy <laughs> is like all the rest of Siege, he's got waist articulation. Yeah. Like Omega Supremes, you can finally get him kind of twi uh, twisted stuff, yeah. and in cool poses. Wow. Um, and here's, here's probably my favorite feature of this entire figure. Take close note of his hand. When you close his hand, you see a port. When you open it, it disappears. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's genius. That's, that's really cool. It's all connected together. So and it's both, both hands allow you to, you see the, the five mil pour? You're able to get almost that masterpiece quality. Can you that one more time? Sure. On, a, on our social channel, we have a, we have a little um, boomerang of that working. Awesome. Um, the other thing that this guy can do is you're able to take all of these weapon pieces off of his back, which are much you know part of the, the ecosystem of Siege. You're able to make his classic double cannon, but you're able to put like a mask on him. You can put all of these jet fire-ish pieces all over him to make him more jet fire-like. Um, but he also comes with these special multi-stage um, oh, fire blasts. Awesome. Oh, wait, hold it down. Yeah, so the fire blasts, we haven't glued in because it's a prototype, but um, they, they actually can come apart and you can see they can be used in a couple of different fashions around them, either as like contrails on the jet. Explodes. So you can see it's a simple thing, but they're spring-loaded doors. They really make this guy a joy to convert from robots to the It's really, really cool. Let me snap him back in the position. Uh, next up, we've got this great feature in his hands. So both of his hands are equipped with this revolutionary new feature where you're able to close the palm of his hand and a 5 millimeter and then it disappears. That's cool. So you're able to close him out and uh, get his hands in different ways. Uh, there's a couple of points on here where he's able to accept armor. So he comes with an armor module that you can either attach in jet mode. Like I uh, will when the interview starts, sir. Uh, you can pop this guy open and there's hidden inside is the jet fire mask. So this is a kind of a newly stylized mask made of clear blue plastic. Um, it has a pin, a square pin, that attaches to a spring-loaded joint on its head. So you can actually connect it and it um, kind of make him into this different version of Jet Fire. Close this guy up and you're able to connect it onto his chest. You can con then connect all of these weapons and armor onto him to kind of give him a more of a Jet Fire expression. But if you're a G1 purist, you're able to switch him back to his pure G1 look. Um, let's talk about the jet mode for a second. Not only do you have this weapons module that can be removed, lots of cool areas. You can see the, the cannons are mounted underneath here. The, the, 
the jointed um, thing allows you to have a central a central handle or two handles splits into two two weapons. Um, not only can you attach the the blast effects together, they separate into three units, so you can attach them as single single flares like that, or contrail effects like the back here. Um, these things articulate down. You're actually able to. Here's a fun feature: I should like crack the nose cone like this to lift this up, and this CP unit unit removes. And your the Easter egg is you can place a uh, Titan's Return or Titan Master in there, so you can ride inside. When you flip this guy over, you can see it's got working landing gears, with wheels, uh, but also four different uh, troop deployment feature handles. And each one of these can accept a character. So if you're a big G.I. Joe kind of fan like, like I am, you're able to attach these guys. Sorry, Cog. No. <laughs> uh, you can attach them on like this and fly in your reinforcements in the battle. Let's see if I can get it. Get this hand on there. It's a really sample. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so there's four of those on there, and as you can see, this guy's chock full of cool detail all over his body. And the deco on him is, is pretty sophisticated as well. You've got blast effects or, or fire, like the uh, weathering effects, but for this guy, they're super subtle. You can see they're actually uh, a, cool, a cool gray that kind of fades down um, in some places on his body so that it's, it's actually super subtle and uh, not overstated. And I think it fits with the entire figure. Uh, so I think there's something here for everybody. G1 fans have their Skyfire. I think fans of the new series have a new detailed uh, commander class character. And fans of Mecha really have a great new Transformer to play with. Great. Thanks, John. Yeah, you bet. You. Appreciate it. That was fantastic. <laughs> is it question time? Uh, I think it is. I gotta make That's, my way over there. I love the side. that. Oh, okay. Oh, this feature. That's fantastic. Oh, isn't that great? That's yeah, that Sui, cool. Sui came up with that. The guy's a mastermind. That's so. The guy that worked on this. The U.S. designer is a new guy he's oh, on my team, okay. but then Hasui san who's the uh, the creator of um, MP10, worked on this. So. Yeah, so it's an absolute legend. Working on this. Just blown away by this. Is there anything else you can do with the uh, top piece there? It looks like I see like pins or hinges up by that windshield up on the top here. Oh, this? No, that uh, that's part of the transformation. Okay. I, yeah, that's when he converts. Um, there's no there's no room for guys in there. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm being paged. Let's go.